YouTubers. Well, I'm going to be starting on a project here today that uh, it's going to take me a few days to do. But uh, anyway, I'm welding up. I've got my piece cut, pieces cut here. I'm going to be welding up basically three frames. I've got one frame on the table I'm getting ready to start on. But uh, two rectangular frames and then an elongated a rectangular uh, frame that I'm going to weld together and make a bench out of. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, it's going to be, uh, like I say, it's going to be a little bit more complex project than I've done in the past, but uh, we'll see what we can do. But uh, we'll get started here and uh, let's see how we progress. Well, and here I have the uh, base frame laid out on the uh, what I use is a welding table. I don't have an actual welding table that's uh, large. I only have a four foot by about uh, three foot table. So I use what I have and I, I get it all. Uh, I'm able to ground the material and then um, I'm just tacking it up here uh, with my uh, mid welder uh, torch and use my, uh, my big um, magnets in order to get everything squared up and get that going and so I just put pieces together with the magnets and uh, continue to go around and just tack up everything and as I get that um, tacked up uh, then eventually I'll uh, go back and then which is what I'm doing now is uh, going ahead and uh, finishing everything up with the uh, welding the, the joints all together now uh, so I'll, you can hear the longer uh, arc of the uh, MIG, to, uh, MIG torch uh, working there. So it's uh, just going around and um, hitting all the joints that I had tacked together. Uh, it takes a little while with as many joints as uh, I have in this uh, in this bench. So uh, anyway, now I'll flip it over and uh, I'll start. Uh, getting the um, other wells that I have just tacked, or other joints that I've just tacked. Uh, this part of the bench uh, worked out pretty good. I did have to grind just a little bit. I am cutting off a piece now. Um, and you wonder what that board was there. I'm just trying to get a measurement from the front to the back. And of course here, um, I'm, um, I can't weld unless you put your ground uh, clamp on there. So, and. Um, I'll do that, you know, every now and then. I'll go to start to weld and it won't work and it's probably good to put my ground clamp on. But um, get all this uh, welded and tacked on there. And uh, this is the center, center support piece. Now, these uh, rectangles that I've put this bench in between uh, to tack it to, uh, the fit-ups weren't that good on it. So I had to weld it earlier and uh, grind and, and uh, keep... Uh, working with my joints on that um, I used a uh, chop saw with a an abrasive blade and found out that that doesn't do as good as I'd hoped it would um, so uh, anyway I had to work with those uh, those joints on that uh, those 45s I'm just checking my level between the two uh, rectangle uh, pieces here that I'm going to attach this bench to the, the outside supports so um, once I get that all leveled up uh, between that I know I'm set to go but uh, that I've got the right height uh, on each back part and front part if it's level so uh, anyway I'll go ahead and tack these in um, on this uh, on these brackets to hold the uh, bench to and I didn't get a good tack on that one and it popped apart so um, if you'll notice, you see the little shiny spots on those corners. That's where I went back and I cleaned those corners up to uh, use my MIG torch on. Uh, you got to have it clean in order for the uh, MIG weld to uh, to uh, work well on. If you notice now, I'm using a uh, a, a, a stick, um, using my stick welding here uh, because I had not actually cleaned those areas up, and I knew I could get a a good weld in there with a stick weld so that's what I was used in a 6013 rod on those to uh, stick weld in those um, areas where I attach the bench to the uh, to the um, 
to the rectangles. Now um, I was able to borrow a planer, so in order to put the boards on the uh, base of the uh, bench and the back of the bench, I had to uh, plane some lumber that I had in stock, um, basically from where I cut on the farm years ago. And um, so then I had to split the boards. So I've got these boards finally planed down and then ripped and planed again. Um, so what I'm going to do to actually preserve them, keep them in their natural state, is I'm going to use uh, pure raw linseed oil on them. So I'm going to uh, coat them with linseed oil, and then eventually I'll get them screwed to the uh, to the bench over there. So that's where we're going, and you'll see the final results here before long. What I used here was a uh, one eighth inch. Um, metal drill bit to uh, put the pilot holes in then I came back with a larger bit and ruined it a little bit larger and then also um, uh, screwed holes into the uh, lumber of course and uh, I put a uh, on the end of the drill I had a drill that uh, had a countersink attachment so uh, I used that countersink attachment so the screw heads would be uh, flush with the top of the board and not sitting above it so uh, then I just lean out the uh, holes on the board a little bit bigger to match the uh, screw that I'm going to be using uh, that I'll screw down into the uh, metal and get that attached. I got the uh, screws that had a torque head to it and it uh, made a lot of difference uh, when you go to screw those in with a, um, a drill driver uh, in order to get it down into that uh, metal frame and it works uh, real good uh, You know, I tried to find them at the hardware store local hardware store in Lowe's and they didn't have it So I ended up going to fasten all and fasten all had those uh, screws that uh, had the torque heads on it and Were basically made to uh, screw into metal So I got all these um, basically uh, attached Well youtubers I got her finished. This is what it looks like. So um, the lumber um, I had in storage, I just, I'd milled that here oh, probably about four years ago. Planed it down and put it on there. So, uh, and the frame is made out of uh, one and a half inch square tubing. So um, got her done as uh, Larry the cable guy says but uh, I think it looks okay I'm uh, pretty happy with it for my first big project so uh, anyway I want to thank all my subscribers and uh, thank you for tuning in and I uh, appreciate everybody for watching let's get out and do something